Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I have a special mod installed. I think it's called the Kingdoms mod, but um, it'll probably be in the description. And what this world... Well, that's, that's really slow. What this mod is, is it creates sort of like a Melanair kind of thing, but the villagers doesn't do anything. So... Um, part one was destroyed, so that's why I'm kind of starting over again. Um, I think I've wandered off too far away from my kingdom, because usually it just something pops up and it says, Do you wish to start your journey? And I click yes, and uh, you'll be into your journey in like a few seconds. So that's how you start your journey. But, sorry if I do this, but... You know, this is how it goes, and, um, ugh, it's cracking so bad. Um, I gave myself a diamond sword. No, I didn't give myself a diamond sword. I gave myself a golden apple and a compass. Um, last episode, I went mi mining. Well, I didn't go mining. I ventured off far away, and I fell into this ravine. So, I was almost about to die, so I gave myself a lot of golden apples. And then, I, um... Found three diamond, di three diamond, crafted myself with a sword, and um, yeah. So what this mod does is you get money and stuff from people. Oh crap! Shit. Duh! Oh my god! Um, you get money from killing mobs, and um, I won't cheat anymore unless it's necessary but normally I won't cheat anymore cuz I really needed that golden apple and just decided to keep it see all this money that's a lot of money so after a night you can probably get like a thousand bucks maybe and um tell you and um you can get Fairly amount of kills through the night because monsters spawn really fast. Even in the day, you can kill some spiders or creepers. Killing like pigs and stuff, they, they don't give you any money. As far as I know, maybe they give you like one dollar that drops it and I didn't see. Or why the hell are you hiding from me, you stupid idiot? This is what I built. I found a bunch of clay, so I made a bunch of brick stairs. On top of this, so it's my own, very own watchtower. Um, the last episode was like 15 minutes, so I did a lot of stuff. Cause then I was mining, right? And I got a lot of stones. So I built that, and then yeah. So nothing's hacked except the golden apples. Now gotta find a way in. <sighs> I gotta find a way in. So this is the grand entrance, the grand building. Now, what happens usually is you spawn. Just wait until I get there. Oh, I hate swimming in this game. It's so retarded. You're like jumping in water. Anyways, you're walking, you're walking, you're walking. Pops up. Would you like to start your journey? and you click yes that was a failed accent by the way click yes it loads after like 10 seconds bam that building appears you spawn like right here you walk here and um you're like wow this is amazing look how huge that building is and it is you you have to be surprised um and then you meet these assassin's creed guys i'm not one of them but i'm really close i'm Ezio so, so you, you find this and then you're, you're like wow holy crap what you wanna do when you first get here is get a piece of bread from him and um, this is the local blacksmith and you see here I have a thousand something gold cause I've been killing a lot of mobs last episode in the um cave you can do a lot in 15 minutes and this is not 
your kingdom actually this is I don't know whose kingdom it is but you're the king of this kingdom but it's not your kingdom because your goal is to get enough um I have no idea like experience or something to for your pathway to become a true king and then you when you uh fill that XP or pathway bar thing you'll get um your own kingdom but you need to collect materials for it anyways so you come here and you find this eating place the cafeteria or something what you want to do is create a set of stairs up to here to the library and remove the fences that used to be here now when you're in the library remove the fence and climb onto the stairs because or else you have to walk the long way and that kind of sucks so now you're in the sleeping quarters don't check any of the rooms because there's nothing in them and there's no beds also it's just wool and your spawn point does not reset even if you sleep on a bed but I won't recommend you to sleep on a bed because there's an inn where you can sleep and um, it's better actually for you to be awake through the night so you can kill lots of mobs and get money now anyways you come in you talk to this guy and your path to kingship see I'm like right here you kill a lot of monsters and then after you come back here and you see your pathway to kingship being extremely full well it can't be oh my god it can't be extremely full but you know what I mean when it's filled up you can actually build your own kingdom and now what's this is just like the guard place for mobs I don't know if there is any enemies right now I don't think so but uh, in the future updates there's gonna be like super enemies from the nether realm or something like that and you had to um, prepare your kingdom for the enemies so this is basically what this game is about preparing your kingdom for the enemy to attack you what the hell why is there only so less so, so yeah so it's preparing you to build your kingdom get more knights like these assassins but you probably won't get assassins you probably get knights or something and of course you won't get this much assassins you probably only get like five knights and they had to buy more and more and more and upgrade them to paladin stuff and then you fight off the um the bad guys so this is basically like a rp mod role playing mod anyways you can rest in a room wait for the night wake up it's i think it's free so nighttime i don't know i think it's daytime again when you have your thing filled up like i was talking about earlier i get distracted a lot you talk to this guy and you're not worthy of creating a kingdom the guild master will prepare you but another thing is creating a kingdom sucks it's not like what you think like in sims where you can build everything or or minecraft we can actually build it. I'm not saying it sucks, it's fun and stuff, but the suckish part of it is you have to get a lot of materials for your kingdom to get as near as big as this. Now this isn't a full kingdom because it, all the buildings are like connected, but your buildings will probably be in um separated. So how building a kingdom works is you have to um, get set amount of materials talk to him say give materials and um, he will build the kingdom for you like you click I, I kinda forgot but I think you click the building and you give him materials or you give him materials and then he gives you buildings but anyways you click the building he will build it for you in like five seconds and then you you know you just have that building in it and has the functionality of it even though you're a king you still can't just go rampaging and get everything for free you actually have to buy stuff so it, this doesn't feel like minecraft anymore cuz there's set goals and quests and you're not you're not supposed to really build your own stuff so this mod doesn't make it 
this mod doesn't enhance Minecraft, in my opinion, it completely makes it a separate path. Because with that huge, gigantic building and and the coins and stuff, it makes me feel like an RPG. Well, Minecraft is a role-playing game, but it's an adventure game, a kind of, you know, action adventure. Now it makes it an action RPG. So that's what this mod is about. Okay, I'm out of food. Crap. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh my god. I can't believe the golden apple doesn't even heal you that much. I mean, like, what's the point of golden apple? It's like one and a half pork chops. And a golden apple is like nine, $90,000 if you want to buy it in the shop. That's, that's, a, that's a waste of money. That's a real waste of money. But this tower is just retarded. Like, I mean, like, why put a that there when you're not even going to do anything with it? So, what I'm planning to do... You'll see what I'm planning to do. Just delete some stuff that I don't need. Because I like to keep my inventory clean. I wish I had that um, clean inventory mod or something. Like that convenient inventory mod. That is the best mod in the world, man. It makes your inventory so clean. What am I doing? Anyways. Is this hollow? Nope. Well, whatever. Um. What I'm digging... Let's talk about the future of this mod. As I was saying before, there's gonna be enemies for you to kill. More stuff. Oh crap. Um. Well, that that was. Um. Well, okay, I guess. This was before I got the diamond and stuff. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Well, whatever. Anyways, like I was saying before, um, this will get more and more epic, because this is still in beta, I think. It's not in beta, but it's not finished. It's like... Um... How do you say it? There's nothing really I can compare this to. It's like a game that with 10 DLCs coming out. So, it's like half a game with lots of DLCs coming out. And this is a free mod, so you should get it, because... This is incredible. Although, this is pre-rendered, saying that this architecture is built by the guy who created the mod so it's not randomly generated into the um into the code of the game it doesn't randomly generate because every single one of them character thing is the same so yeah you can't find your castle being unique to the one that your friend is playing because this has the same coding and stuff in in it so it's not randomly generated anyways so let's actually play this game instead of me talking about crap that maybe some of you don't understand because it's crap about minecraft and crap I say crap too much I say crap too much I don't die you stupid oh right get bread That's a lot of knights, holy crap. Hey, what's up, yo? KK, goodbye. GG, wait. I'm supposed to kill more enemies.
Anyways, I think I'm gonna end it here for today. Or maybe I should con continue until it's daytime and end it. I don't know. But, um, as I was saying earlier, this mod is just incredible. I haven't seen anything this great or has this much potential. Because right now there's not much to do. It's not like there's nothing to do, but there's not much to do. As in, there is no bad guys other than the mobs in Minecraft to fight. And why that? That's, that's an ugly cow. But in the future, this mod, this mod, this very mod, is gonna be called... Oh my god. Oh yeah, this was the ravine I told you about. See, I'm not lying. What the hell? Iron. Well, it still has some Minecraft feel, but mostly it's like an RPG. I might continue the series. I might not. I'm not sure. How should I know? Okay, I don't know. Sorry. It's a lot of iron we're getting here. What's in here, brothers? Nothing. Okay. Oh, that's scary. Holy crap. It's really bright out here. With the moonlight. Well, the sun's coming up, but before the sun came up, it was really bright because of the moonlight. And I don't even know if monsters could spawn because of that. That is really bright. The moonlight makes everything so sexy. It makes me want to want to want to end this video right now so thanks for watching and um yeah goodbye my friends and I'll hopefully see you in another video and before we go we'll watch the magic of a beautiful sunrise and maybe just maybe in the next episode we can watch a beautiful beautiful Sunset.